Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning to my lovely people. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Okay. You put it. You got to take morning. Look, I'm like, head it on. I'm sitting there like, ah, we got the music going. You can hear somebody talking. <laughs> the agitator. The agitator. Right. I'm like, hello. Hello. I forgot hello. about that because we weren't live. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, we are. See, you focused on this part. I told you I got listeners, sir. Forgive me, oh, listeners. Gosh. Yes, listeners, it, it, you got to focus on the listeners. That's the people. Exactly. Focus on the people to pay you. <laughs> now focus on everybody. And that's the real deal. Got to focus on everybody. But you got to remember, when it's showtime, it's showtime for everybody. So, yes, we are the listeners first. That's who's listening to the music before we come on here. So I'm glad that this is another outlet since this is like a newer outlet since, what, 2020? That's when it started with the whole, yes. with, like, with- Let's Zoom. get social media. You mm-hmm. get to see it, which is cool. I'm excited about it. So that's a good thing. Well, um, actually, you know, we we were doing Facebook. We did our own thing. We did our own thing, but now there's actual like, all the streams programming. Yeah, programming that actually allows you to do it. So listen, I got today's topic up there. We gonna start with these hot top. Well, let me start with the listening audience. Uh, today's topic is, but why lie? The Nate the Agitator, like, uh, his face is like, huh? Nick was like, yeah, like, she had to do the shake, do the hair shake, honey. Right. But why lie? Listen, we're going to start, we're going to start with what's trending right now with the hot topics. Actually, it's just like one hot topic. But I got to tell you, my boy, as we talk about these hot topics, Nick, I'm going to let you handle that, you and Nate. My boy, 50, listen, that's what's happening. His page is where it's at. I want to his- check it out. His page is where it is at. But let's go ahead. Let's get on this uh, P. Diddy thing. Y'all handle that for me. Go ahead. Y'all got the. <laughs> uh, well, see, what had happened was. Hey, Cat said it. Receipt. Receipt. Ooh, ooh. Cat said it best. 2024 will be the year of truth. All's coming out. It's coming out. It, 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 and it's, uh, uh, you, did you see the court document? No, I didn't. You know, that takes a lot of reading. dropping names. Oh, whose name was on there? Give us some interesting info. <laughs> and I tried Allegedly. to read all 48 pages. Oh, no, that's 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 too much like homework. Okay, wait, 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 Nick. You gotta go ahead and James, they was dropping. Wait, names. listen, I was Nick, like, wait, wait a minute, what? Nick, Nick. dropping Nick. names. You hear me? Wait, can names. you hear me? Oh. Lots of folks. <laughs> Can she not hear me? Wow. I don't, I don't, I don't, can you hear me? I can hear you. I know you can. I'm like, she's going. But wait yeah. a second. Nick, before you do yes, that, yeah. you got to remember, it's a talk show. Allegedly. So you have to wait. Allegedly. So wait. Listen to me. Can you hear me or no? Can yeah. you hear me? It okay. Keep, everything keep blinking out, but yeah. Okay, listen. It's a talk show. So what you have to do is set it out for the people, tell them what's going on before you go and talk, because a lot of people don't know and are not into the whole what's happening in Hollywood. So you have to catch the people up if they didn't know what was happening with DP Diddy. Okay, go ahead. (laughs) That's why we got mail. (laughs) Okay, so allegedly, even though we have the court document, um, a young man that Diddy had hired, I guess he, you know, was into songwriting, whatever else, producer, whatever. Um, Diddy was trying to groom him every chance he got. And he was soliciting a lot of his friends. Um, If nobody knows, Diddy is on, I guess he's on the run. I don't know if they caught him yet or not. Um, Hmm. Two of his houses got raided. Right. Both his son, Sean and Christian, I guess got arrested allegedly. Um, and this young man brought, you know, I guess he pressed charges and for sexual assault and it's a lot. It I came across a 48 page uh court document naming a lot of people. Oh um, who's, who's most shocking? I know I was kind of shocked when I seen, you know radio on there <laughs> exactly that was the most shocking radio yeah, but i mean that was the most shocking i, I was really like shocking? i need to i need the people want to know the name. really that's what we're doing 
Yeah, we want to we want to bet on who's the most shocking. Other because TD Jakes, I, I think that was the most shocking to me. I don't think nobody. Yeah, that, that was too. TD Jakes is named. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr. is named. Uh, he had Meek Mills name in it, but Meek Mills, I guess, was supposedly one of the victims. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Young Miami and a cousin of hers was in it because they um, actually set the young man up by the cousin, and the cousin, you know, kind of, kind of tried to. It, well, she, she, here's she, the thing: you can should perform like, I was, yeah. Here's, like, here's the thing. Now, if he was paying them to do this, it's not right. They knew if they were getting paid to do it, but you know, some of the allegations were he was drugging them and stuff like that. Now, that's yeah, what, they were soliciting a lot of young girls, um, you know, young sex workers, underage, like very <laughs> underage. But they were already sex workers. They were already sex workers. But well, that's, that's a, day, a bad day at work. That's all it was. But they were underage, though. So everybody was up in arms about R. Kelly and Diddy doing the same thing. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of his team, a lot of his team, and I'm talking like, yeah, <laughs> it's a, it, ooh, Lord, that court yeah. document is 48 pages long. And I was reading stuff and I was just like in shock. Like, this is what y'all do in Holly Weird. Yeah, that's what no, I you can't you can't blame it on Hollywood because Hollywood is a city and that ain't got nothing to do with it. It just got a lot of the stars, but like that's it's just it's like, from. is this what you have to do? And and clearly, it's not what you have to do to make it in the entertainment industry. Well, I'm I mean, out there today that I don't want to show the blow up that big. <laughs> I got dreams, but I don't want to blow up that big. That's I, the I, thing. I, I it's not, all on. <laughs> the person and you got to be strong will and you know how to know you should know how to say no because yeah. somebody a friend of mine was like well i'm worried that that's what's gonna happen with you with all this stuff going on girl i know how to say no well not if you drug not if not if you're drinking uh the, the bubbly water guess what so, i bring my own <laughs> okay well i mean i'm glad you have all the uh bases covered uh yeah but give, give us some more names the people want to know let me see if I can go through this document. It's yeah. a lot. We, it's a lot. Just like rattle said, off some names. I'm, I'm, because you know everybody know I can't really read. So I, I'm, right, whatever. In two ways. All righty then. Here we go. It's a lot. Come on, come on. Come just on. give us the Switch. juicy ones. We just want the juice. No. Okay, ice. so Drink. it's so you know. The young man um, is Rodney Jones, is the yeah. one who's bringing the charges against him. But then it's Puffy, his son Justin. Wait, wait, wait. They bringing charges against him too? I thought they were co conspirators. I thought they co -conspirators. were co conspirators. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. These oh. are all the people that he's alleging that's in it. You know, Justin, um, Lucian, Charles, uh, Grange. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, what I was asking is, who's at the party? Not who's throwing the party. Who's at the parties? Most of them was at the party all the time. Or they know about it. Like, they even had the one woman in there, and I'm sitting there going, wait a minute, huh, what? Like, they got a lot, oh, oh gosh, a lot, of, a lot of people. But let's okay. see. This is a lot to go through. A lot to go through because he get he has pictures. He has like screenshots of videos that they've added on here. It's let me tell you when I tell y'all it's a lot. Oh, you can't see it. It's a lot. I it wonder. A lot. Here's a question, and I, 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 no one can answer. But I wonder if the the majority of these people are in it for justice or money. What would you think? Um. It's mighty funny that all of this is starting to come out after Cassie comes out. That's because if I, it was that serious was and that severe, then you should have said something a long time ago. Um, but the young man in here, the young man does say that um, at one time Diddy had threatened him and threatened to kill his mother. You know, it was a lot. It was a lot. Just threat. It just, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's a lot. Actually, is is more than forty eight pages. I, I only got to page forty eight. It's seventy three pages. 
Oh no, no, that's 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 seventy three pages. That's, and it goes uh, account for a lot of parties and everything. And it's just like, yeah, the names that were being dropped though, like like I said, but yeah, and that's what I asked. Listen. What names are being dropped? That's that's the question. I was listening, I was listening like it, wait, PVJ. I was, like, I was listening, I was like, No, we're not about to read all of those. Uh, no, I'm not oh, just, no, I'm trying to read all of them, but he just wanted to get the juicy ones. Just but, the Will Smith, allegedly Stevie J. Okay, the alleged- stuff that actually know, but you know what? I'm gonna say this real quick and expedite this thing. Um, with Stevie J, they said that they thought it was Stevie J, but it really wasn't Stevie J. But you know what my thing is, honestly, I just feel like if that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Now, it's to answer your problem. question, when you said, um, Nick, you were talking about, well, wonder, you know, they why didn't they come out earlier? It all came out after uh, Cassie. You were right. It's because they feel brave enough. A lot of them, he had them sign a non-disclosure. So it was like, okay, here you go. Then you had the people missing, MIA, like Craig Mack. And Craig, they showing up old video footage of what was occurring, you know what I mean, in the inside. And we didn't, we weren't privy to that. But mm-hmm. now we are. Then you had um, Tupac, Biggie, like all this stuff is just coming together where it's going back to him. And then what was old dude's car got blew up. So having all that going to effect, yeah, you might be a little concerned and be like, okay, wait a minute. So... Maybe I won't say anything, but then she was brave enough and she got her husband. Her husband must be the bomb.com because baby, Cassie got her husband and told everything civilly. But see, a lot of people don't understand. I did see that on the internet where they had, um, they said, okay, well, P. Diddy was doing this, but look at the white dude off of Nickelodeon. Okay. But here's the thing. Did his accusers come forward? So that's on them. Exactly. Why are are we trying to redirect this thing and making it out? Okay. Well, what about what? One of the accusers came forward but he came forward on everybody including diddy but nobody okay. believed him okay but see with that particular guy with the internet i'm like okay y'all trying to compare you know and, and i'm going to say oranges to apples and the reason i say that is because it's all about the accusers if the accusers don't want to do it public they don't have to you can't tell people how to say hey i was a victim or hey this person wronged me you can't the same way you can't tell people how mad to get if you piss them off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's on them. But let's just focus on P. Diddy. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm sitting there like, okay, it's coming out. You know that man ain't going down by itself. And I heard you. Uh, oh, no, that's why I think the feds came in. But that's just my thoughts. I'm just giving my sharing my opinion. I don't know nothing. I just feel like they went in because they probably was like, it's going to be a whole lot of names dropped. And I don't want to be included, so let's get them documents and get the heck out. That's all I'm saying. When Nate, I, think- I heard you when you said about, um, dang it, I lost my train of thought that fast when you were talking about. Uh, age. I know, right? So sad. I, it'll come back to me. It, you're, looking, you're looking ravishing, I must say, though. Oh, my bob. Listen, my bob is growing out so fast, but it was bobbing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You I'm see? just not realizing you cut your hair. Okay. Yeah. Hey, and it's all natural. Man, what your phone number is? <laughs> what your I'm phone number is, girl? All natural. Wow. And that's crazy because I was been thinking about cutting mine too. So yeah, I, I need it. to cut it and let it, it breathe and cut it. And that's what I did. But I kind of think about what you were saying, Nate, at the top of the hour. It was important too. Everything you say is important. Everything close to what I said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, of course. Maybe you like my background. Oh, cat. When you were talking about uh cat told the truth. Listen, he said everything will be revealed in 2024, didn't he? Keeping it cat. The yeah. year of the cat. Yeah. Baby, he definitely said that thing. He was like, uh, yeah, everything gonna be revealed in 2024. He was like, then he talked about the Diddy parties, which was so funny. You have to say no to Diddy. <laughs> you got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. <laughs> then there's a Mike Tyson video. Did you see the Mike Tyson? Um, that Keenan Ivory Wayans talk show I and Mike that. was sitting there. I was like, did he sign his hand up under there? And Mike was like, he picked his hand right back up, put it on his own lap. And, and he put it back, right back down next to Mike and Mike moved. For, for, yes. for who, who, who did, did you see Mike? the video where next Lil Wayne said, uh, uh, Lil Wayne, there was a video where Lil Wayne were Little Wayne and Diddy was talking, and he was asking Wayne, "Cause you, you know, you've been in the world. You know, you started young, and let these young men know how it is, and you know, being groomed and this and that." And yeah. Wayne was throwing big shots at Diddy, big shots. You hear me? Twenty six. Y'all remember day twenty six? It was that. It was yeah. the making of the band. Yeah, they just said poof, disappear. As long as them girls. 
but the boys that one dude was saying everything and they said he was the problem child but he actually said dylon was, dylon dylon no oh, okay the other one it wasn't dylon that's the only one i remember it was I, a, it was another i can't remember his name but anyway i'll put it up on there so you actually i think I'll, it's already on the shop talk with mail page where they're really sitting there good. talking and doing their thing so what's happening lovely people what's happening what besides else? that what's happening in in the real world air quotes for the listening audience Ooh, i got one a real talk world to issue talk to me what's up with the art in russia you know they ain't talking about that oh yeah the original christian the original pieces that they they whitewashed and then they found out that he was black yeah oh whoa whoa they, well, they dudes read the bible it hey, describes his skin and his hair hello yeah yeah but i mean these were negros this is proof Oh no, we can't have exactly. it. Exactly. Russia said, "Oh, hey, hey, look what we got. Nothing. It's quiet as hell. They, everybody, like, look at Puffy. P Puffy's right now. Thank is, you, Russia. He's the proverbial banana in the tailpipe. He's the proverbial he? banana in the tailpipe. For who? Because we knew us. For us. Well, I knew. Right. We knew, but now we have documentation, and they ain't saying nothing about it. It's oh, just, oh yeah, 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 we, Russia was already there. Things. Wait, mm -hmm. wait." The documentation was already there. And then I heard you, and I'm sure the listening audience heard you. You said, and they're not saying nothing about it, which takes me back to what I was saying. We can't tell people how to speak. I understand, but you're feeding us. I can see what you're feeding me. Okay, Just are you eating it? The agitator knows. I see what you're feeding me. So yeah, okay, I see what you're feeding. Are you eating it, though? It's, it's, it's from everywhere. Then in, oh, but, but are you eating it? No, I'm not. And you just keep talking and you know right. what you do. Don't eat that. If it's poison right there and you see your youngest going to it, don't eat that. If but you it's see it's away, don't go there. We, that road is closed. Tell your people. We, we It's everywhere. I mean, it's that great uh, uh, gigantic show. You ain't blaming the man on the old Shop Talk with Mel show. Right, right. right. That, that giant show Shop Talk with Mel opened with it. So, I mean, it, it's everywhere. So, I mean. Wait a minute, y'all. They ain't done though. Look Who? for Jay Z and MJB to um, be the next ones. Look, she went back. She went back there. Oh, it's no, not, but it's not. It's the House of Cards. Don't they got a show? You y'all seen the show, right? Yeah, I never right. watched it, but I, I'm okay, gonna watch it now. Okay, but you know the House of Cards when you remember playing cards. Mm -hmm. but what happens? One card, you hit the what? I mean, yeah. I ain't trying. To, I'm not trying to compare oh, oh. the two, but you see, you hit that focal point. And yeah. rest in peace to the people that passed on the bridge and the boat and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. We let me tell you. I got I got my own thoughts. You already know. So let me spew it. Because <laughs> I got a problem with just keeping it concealed with me. The power goes out and then boom. The power. How easy is that? How often has the uh, power monument have uh, been targeted, especially in Washington, D.C.? You remember that? When the two mm -hmm. people was trying to like, we'll get the power surge. And then guess what? Nobody has power. And now what? And then you got these cars that power start. I was like, please don't sell your old cars. Please. I'm going to need a ride. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need a ride. But if everything is electric and you turn in everything to electric, then what? Now, let me say this from a medical standpoint. Here's my Mills medical moment. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> early. So you do have the generators and this has happened working on the floor, uh, vent patients. So, you know, they're relying on the machines. Power goes out. Bam. It was a car accident by the main hospital, not in the hometown area. So the other people was like, oh, my gosh, the power went out. What are we going to do? <laughs> the old head right here was like, we got to do it immediately. Get the ammo back. We got to do CPR. We got to breathe for them. So you get the ample bag, boom. It's just like the CPR kit, boom. Mm -hmm. two, two, you got to do what you got to do. Breathe for them until it kicks to the generator kicks on. Yeah. So a lot of people feel like the generator kicks on immediately. It takes some time. Mm -hmm. Boom. Then kick. But you got to go back to the basics. The computers go down. Everything is computer. Where's the paper files? Oh, I don't know this person's problem. I'm telling you, when they first started doing it, I was like, y'all got to have a plan B. Yeah. You got to have a plan what, B. What's that movie everyone on Facebook made me watch and it was like, Boo, but it, it it alluded to that when the boats just came on. They killed the electric, the, the the grid or whatever the case may be. But with that boat, the power went out, came back on, went out again, came back and on. And went again. back out. Yeah, it was too late. But I mean, anything that, that, that you have based with computers can be hacked. Well, we, I know you know. So, so I mean, it's it's like this. 
if we have all these computers doing it, we're in trouble. Because guess what? And with this AI, it scares the hell out of me. Hell out of yeah. me. Because once they learn, they can fix themselves. Absolutely. They can do everything for themselves. It's the Terminator. This is going to be what is that? What did they call it? Sean Connery and um, when when they put the switch, Skynet, same thing. Mm -hmm. These computers can fix themselves and they can learn. But here's the thing: if they start reading history and find out true history, they'll know who the real they'll know who the real enemy is or the problem one is. They they'll figure it out. They're like, whoa. Once they start reading, because they it's scary because you see these AI things and they're they're comprehending. They ain't just listening to order, they're comprehending and having conversations. So with that comes learning. Until they don't. Dude, yeah, until they till they say, Hey, you know what? What are you relying on? Look at those cars, look at the electric cars, right? You know, driving cars. I never cruise control. I'm not putting this car in no cruise control. Me neither. Yeah. It makes me sleepy. Hey, hey, I heard a story. My boy was riding back from PA. Him and his boy in their big truck told that thing to get him home quick. 80 miles an hour was driving itself. I couldn't, I, I'm glad I wasn't in there because I would have been scared shitless. You're like, hey, I, I, nothing can, look, nothing can drive me. Mm. I need, I need something. Me. Nothing can drive me. But they had a lot of incidents occur with that self driving car. And then you got the, like the electric cars. I said, I'm not going to buy an electric car. You see, that's going down. First, it was like a high commodity. Now it's going down. I'm like, I can't even keep my phone charged. What was that other movie? Minority Report. So I know my car. Oh, movie. yeah. I remember that. You remember Minority I'm Report? Watchers. I'm not. Minority Report was they'd come and rescue, they'd come and arrest you, Mel, because they didn't look at your biorhythm or your whatever you're watching online and stuff like that. Say, oh, you're going to commit a crime in eight years and seven days. So we're going to arrest you now. And then mm -hmm. with, with the event, all these self-driving cars, watch this. This is a, a, a agitator original. Once you get in these self-driving cars and these Ubers and stuff, and it sees your phone, it'd be like, oh, Mel, you got a parking ticket. It's just going to lock the door. Hey, stick in your credit card, pay this ticket, or the police are on the way to come pick you up. It's well, they're already right doing that at them, uh, them side, side street hustlers with some cars. Listen, they can, if you don't pay your car, yeah, like, you go to the store and your car won't start. Like, yeah, yeah. but oh I, yeah, the uh yeah, they, 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 I they, uh, the name, can't say the name, but no, there's I, a bunch of car lots like that like, like, down so what, here. So what they like? Yeah, to buy here, pay here, hey, so hey, hey, buy hey, your hey. spots. Yeah, I gave you the, the car. Your credit, your credit ain't good, so I'm get, I'm trusting you, but. Okay. There's stipulations to my stuff. I can press this button and I'll come pick it up. I know exactly where the car is. Oh, now, I got the one for you. The they new ones, they'll come back. Here. Let them finish first. Go ahead. The new say? cars will come back to the shop. If you get, because oh. credit is, is a, that whole credit thing is is falling mm -hmm. because of the, 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 the dollar and everyone going over to digital currency and stuff like okay. that. So now you can get the car, mm -hmm. but if you don't pay it, the car just drive back to the shop. Oh, okay. Now go You're ahead. Your car. Now, what was what were you gonna say? They have um a little car lot here to uh, buy here, pay here. Um, I guess that's where uh, uh, everybody get their little fancy, you know, fancy schmancy cars. Make <laughs> you ain't making that much money. You just went to this place, I but they'll go. tell you. Time ago, go ahead. They will tell you. You get a car from them. You better not Uber or DoorDash because they'll know it mm -hmm. because they have trackers on that car oh, and shit. they will shut it down. Okay, you so wait. Are you, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. I need to make more money. Wait, I need clarity. So if I go and I purchase a car from your lot, and I'm like, hey, how are you? I want to purchase the car from your lot. You tell me where I can go and where I can't go. Well, it, it, it's because I can't you, work in this car. Go, mm -hmm. go ahead. Which, which it, it, it has something to do with your credit. They'll give you a nice car, this that, another. But if you if you are if you got problem problems paying on it, I ain't gonna let you just drive it and give it back to me with eight million miles on it. So they say, hey, you can't well, be don't open. Give it to me. I'm huh? not approved, unapproved. And right, but that's not not. I can't make money if if I can't approve you. If I can't move these cars, it it's a it's a new rental pretty much. Oh, well, I my thing is, it, if that's how I pay my you. bills, that's how you're getting paid. How you gonna right. tell me? What I can't, where I can't. The way they did, if I see that car, you ain't driving and shutting that mug exactly. off. Exactly, they no, no, will, no, no. they take, will shut it down and they'll come get it. Back. They tell you that. They tell you take, that on the commercial. Take a step back. 
if Go just ahead. how you make your money and you can't afford the car, why are you getting it? Well, that's your job. Your job is to actually. Your job. That's your job. Okay. okay. Our cars. Right. Listen, well, I'm going to tell you. Let me tell you. Because they have a commercial and they'll let you know. They don't care. And they'll tell you they don't care if you hustle. Mm -hmm. They don't care if you're a stripper. They don't care what you do. They will approve you. But just don't be no Uber or do DoorDash or nothing like that in that car. Pretty much what Nate was saying. Don't use up our car because I know that you ain't going to pay and I'm going to need it right. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm just going to make money. Letting this, instead of paying rental for this car sitting in my lot, not doing nothing, I'm going to let you drive for two or three weeks. And then when you mess up, I'm going to come get it back. And you ain't put a whole bunch of miles on it. And then I'll sell it. Not to a crazy to me, though. I'm making money on it. I'm not letting my product sit here. Hey, hey come, on, strippers. come on, strippers, shake, twerk for me and, and, and take off in this car. Don't What's, be you know what? Uh, interesting fact strippers aren't making the money that they were making anymore. No, mm -hmm. only fans, internet. Mm -hmm. So the internet is shutting it down for everybody, then, everybody. huh? Mm -hmm. The world is, is in tune to you stay in your house, I'll bring your food to you. You can watch the latest movie at your house, uh, you can. You can whack off to anything you want because it's all coming to your, your phone. What do you have to leave the house for? You're right, because mm -hmm. guess what else is on there? Radio. We're yeah. going to go back to watching radio. What yeah. mm -hmm. No, no, that's why I remember Martin being pretty much the last, that era being the last. Let me say this. Let me TV say this. Shows. Lovely people, listen, it is very, very important to advertise with your local radio stations, not just because I'm there <laughs> at mine, but all over. Because if something were to happen and the internet go down, because you see what happened. Remember when the Instagram and everything went down and then boom, they weren't models anymore. What are we going to yeah. do? Turn your radio on and listen yeah. to your girl mail. Yeah. 10 a.m. to 12 noon. That's right. 10 a No, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Every Saturday. Your local radio station. Yes. All right, and go ahead. Here's another agitator. Don't ever uh, interrupt my commercial. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you was commercial. I should have seen you turn. When you turn to the side, I know you, you, you smile. That's the commercial. But, uh, Another agitator nugget. Go ahead. Everyone, get a CB radio at your house. You remember the old CBs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are expensive. They, if you get the, yeah, they, they, they can be. But if you get your nice antenna at your house and everything, because guess what? Everything is going digital. And if the grid drops, there's no way to talk to you. I can't talk to you on a cell phone. But if you got a CB radio at your house with a good antenna, you can talk all over the country. Break a break of one nine. Right. <laughs> You y'all laughing? I, my dad you know, had one. I, I was telling, I was telling some uh, years ago, years ago before I found the Lord. Uh, y'all don't talk on phones, man. Get CB radio. They can't trace the CB radio. That's just over the air. They can't. They don't know where you're. At. Uh, it brings the uh, twenty pounds of distrained sugar I to my house. Mm -hmm. I we said don't need a live example of that. I, I said sugar. I, I said sugar. Okay, sugar. Right. I didn't say fentanyl. <laughs> It matters. It matters. Which one will shut me down? Right. <laughs> right. First one, they be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to yeah. need you to be careful. Y'all ain't about to shut me down. But get us a hey, I'm, some brown I'm, sugar and some eggs. I'm about to put an antenna on this house and I'm about to spend some money on you a CB. Tell the people. You're telling the people what you're doing. You're giving them the playbook, huh? Hey, hey, hey. I need somebody to talk to. Uh, Mel, uh, uh, breaker one niner. Mel, can you hear me? Yeah, have stuff over there. Over there. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go out by the garbage can. Let me go by the street. Right, but guess right. what? When the grid drops, there ain't no way I can't. I can't text you. I you can't, can't call you. I can't uh, get. No, let's hurry up. Let's get with this topic real quick. Uh, hey, I see you guys on there. Today's topic is, but why lie? I mean, for real. But why lie? Do y'all know? Yeah, I know. We're about to get into it. Hey, I want to let you lovely people know who are just tuning in. The phone number here is 619-902-2287, 619-902-2287. And for the, the watching audience, 
uh, the phone number is going across the bottom, okay? 619-902-2287. Mel, why are you letting us know that number? I am letting you know this number because we are going to give away, we have nine tickets left, six or nine tickets left. Oh, wow. For the event on April the 27th. And I want you guys to know that it is, um, it's going to be a live recording. And on that live recording, we will be shop talking live. It starts from nine to one. The reason it starts at nine o'clock is so that the show, it goes live at 10 and everybody can actually be seated. It's a, be a beverage and brunch. Yes, food is included. April 20th, April 27th, that's a Saturday from nine to one. Now, if you know me and if you've ever been to any of my events, when I say it's over at one, it's over at one. I mean, parking lot clear, real talk. <laughs> that's what it is. So the show is from 10 to 12, but the breakfast will be served from nine to 10 and then we'll get started. Like I said, it's beverages there. It is going to be at the Dope Cider House and Winery. It's five o'clock somewhere, lovely people, five o'clock somewhere. Okay. And that is at four, is that 480, 460? Let me get my, my mind. Where my glasses at? Y'all know where my glasses 460. Let me get a fine. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Show my age. 460 yeah. Federal Street, Suite B, Youngstown, Ohio, 44503. Again, 460 East Federal Street, Suite B, Youngstown, Ohio, 44503. Now, here's the deal. The only way that you can get in is you have to have a ticket. So we will be giving away a set of tickets during the show. So if you're interested, go ahead and call in and we'll see. Or text, best comment. We'll do it that way and then make it happen. But yeah, so that's what we had, lovely people. That was so fast. And I was like, we're not even in April yet. So and here it is. Get ready to be April. Boom. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Now you have to know the acronym that DOPE stands for. DOPE what stands is, for uh, D-O-P-E. Stands for Dwelling on Positive Energy. Y'all know, girl. Boom. That's it. Dope. There you go. I'm glad you explained that because I had a whole nother thing. in the uh, See, that's <laughs> it. Reboot that hard drive. Let me give this information. I have to do this part. Um, it is, I see you say, what's your radio station? If you are not in, it's Star 94.7. If you are not in the area, it is 947-star.com. And you click on there. You can hear your girl. You'll hear us. Look. You hear us shop talking periodically, the music playing, all that other stuff. We do it all. We make it happen. Okay? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, actually, we're, we're so on uh, on Star 94.7, that is a um, throwback and R&B radio station. So it's a lot of music, but you'll hear me shop talking throughout it. Okay? And that is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturdays. And on here... The podcast, which I started back in 2010, started with Blog Talk Radio before we called it podcast and it was Blog Talk Radio. <laughs> that was since 2010. Always been there at Shop Talk with me. If you want to hear old shows, you can go all the way back. So this ain't new to us. This We true to this, not new to this, right? Well, yes. yes. And Nick was in the background setting up the lights and all that stuff. Nick was in the studio. We kicked, man, look at that. We kicking it still. I started off okay. as a lonely light man. Look at me now. Dreams do come true. <laughs> and just think, I started out when I just came to audition for her play. And yep. Here I am. Yeah, that was four years later. Yeah, the play. Hey, you're like, hey, I was like you guys, but now I'm washing lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Soon I'll be on I'll fries. Be I'll, I'll be on fries. And that's when the big bucks come. Come rolling in. Exactly. Okay. Doing it, doing it, doing it. Man, I love the commitment. Appreciate you guys. I see you guys with the text. It's 619-902-2287. All right. I'm, I don't even know. We got to figure out what to do. I said the best comment. So I like to hear what the lovely people have to say. That's my thing. All right. Let's get going with this here topic. But why lie? Yes, yes, we must talk about this. In relationships, any type of relationship, not even romantic, um, mother, child, best friend, uh, husband, wife girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, in relationships, how we relate with one another. Why do we lie? Like, do we want the truth? Can we handle the truth? No. You I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump in. Oh, like man, this. get on in. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You yes, ain't got to yes, lie. Yes, we do. 
and, and it depends on your situation. I have an agenda if I'm trying to get you. If I'm married or with you, I'm not going to say, yeah, that dress makes you look fat. Because then I have to deal with all the backlash and then I'm all of this because I didn't just say, no, oh, you, you don't you don't look fat in that. So, yes, lying help. I mean, is, is, is essential. I'm sorry, but it is. I can't sit here and tell you the truth about, hey, is that your breath? You know, you, you get women get offended more. And more oh, often. Did you just do a T-shirt on Shop Talk with Mel? Well, I, I don't know. Lying is essential. Right. Oh, yeah, he did. But, but, sir, so you gonna let me go out looking like a fool? Lying is essential. So you gonna let me go out looking like a fool? Hey, I'd rather you go out looking like a fool because you think you cute than than bust your bubble and have to take care of the retribution for telling you. My bubble be like like you said last. You bust my bubbles, babe. That 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 don't suit you. That don't. How's that working for us? Okay. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Look, I'm talking for the masses. You're talking you. Oh, we don't okay. to tell me. Yeah, she always she be going in on a personal. Personal. I'm like, yeah. No, we just we just shop talking. In general. In Nate, general. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nay, you just said. <laughs> you like that? That you would lie to keep the peace. You gotta go, because of, of keep the peace, and you said there's a goal. So your goal. So you focused on the goal. So if whatever it's like, whatever it takes to make sure I accomplish my goal, is that what you're saying? Like if you're trying to get at a chick and she thinks she's looking good, you ain't going to tell her that she's not? Well, no, 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 no. You tell her she is. If she's not looking good, you tell her. It, it, if I like now we're, we're, we're dating and I'm trying to get at you, ma'am. I'm lying because I'm, I'm driving Cornell's car. He let me borrow his car. So I'm looking good. It's washed up and stuff. And you thinking it's mine. You know, I'm buying drinks knowing I can't, oh, shoot, I can't pay my light bill, but I got to get this girl, so I'm going to buy these drinks. So it depends on, on the territory. And, and and women want to hear what you say. They don't look at what you do. They, well, he say it. Well, he say it. Well, he say it. So, yeah. I mean, it's different different degrees of, of lying. When we, you know, we call them little white lies. I'll say I was with Craig and them or. You know, I was with Otis. So when does the white lie get a lie is a lie. Oh, a lie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said I was with Otis and, and Cornell and Art, right? Okay. You told me it was my baby. There's a big difference in the lies. Oh, we went there. Did, whoa, we, you we, told, we, told me a lie is a lie is a lie. Every oh, sin so in the Bible is, is, is so a, are you saying no degree of sin? It's all sin. So are you saying it's equal. I get my sound effects. <laughs> so are you saying it's equal? Because I was with, I told you I was with Art and I wasn't. That you told me it was my baby. Still a lie? Still the same? That's, that's just the same in your world, right, Nick? That, that's the same? It's the same lie. It's a, a lie is a lie is a lie. It's a lie. So it's you a lie. here with your boys <laughs> and you said, and I told you it was your baby. Well, you could be with a chick. So how I know that you ain't she ain't got your baby. But so. I'm not responsible for 18 years of raising a child that's not mine. I just did something dishonest to you. That's the difference. I hurt your feelings. You ruined my life. How did we ruin your life when because we? Because you told me it was my baby. You were the reason. Guess what? You did Strap it. it up. You partook in the festivities, whoa, 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 sir. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm I know we get off the a lot here, but I want to share something with you, Mel. Go ahead, share. It. I, if I said I was with a uh, uh, deer, and and I wasn't, I was out doing whatever I was doing. That's cool. I, there's no rep, there's no uh, rep, repercussions from that other than me lying to you. Now, you lied to me and told me it was my baby. Now, I'm paying child support. I am buying pampers. I am bringing him around my family thinking it's my baby. There is a huge difference, and it scares me that you guys can't see the huge difference in that. My life has changed. I lied to you. I hurt your feelings. But our life changes change. as well. Okay, yeah, your life Wait, changes. Me, I'm can, can, with can, can Rihanna again. Me and Rihanna kicked it again, and I, I told you I was with Cornell, but I was over there with Rihanna, and we sm I smashed her. Okay, that hurts your feelings, and you break up with me, or and you don't. Rihanna's pregnant. That's where I was getting ready to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Rihanna got pregnant. Now what? Now what, Negro? What? I better go. What? I got. Excuse me, I gotta what? go have a talk with my wife. I'll I be right back, y'all. Uh, I heard that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go, go and get your mason jar Kool-Aid. No, no, no. But I mean, but but my lie is I was with Cornell. And whatever I was doing, dishonest or not, is cool. Either 
It doesn't come back to hurt you. If you never find out me and Rihanna was smashing or Fantasia, because, you know, that's another way I mean, you're talking to on the staff. But if you don't find that out, there's nothing. But I'm going to find out that you're pregnant. And what if you if don't you find out that you, it's not yours? How to, huh? Excuse what me? If you don't find out that it's not yours. And you're you're right. No attention. It, it always well, the mom would be the ones to be like, uh-uh, that ain't you. And guess what? Oh, Rihanna, Rihanna's son look exactly like you. Hey, Why hey, hey, that? hey, you're off subject, Nick. Let's talk about. No, nah, we ain't off subject. <laughs> we ain't off subject. Shut <laughs> 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 We ain't off subject. Rihanna's son look like you. Why Rihanna's son look like you, man? Nick, what was you doing? Yeah, it was that night you said you was with Cornell. See, Cornell, he always throwing you up under the bus. Okay, but watch no, this. I watch gotta go, y'all. Wait, what, what was her, what's her name? Uh, is it Marie Shriver, the uh, who Arnold Schwarzenegger was with? Uh huh. Yeah. And then he had that baby with the maid, the housekeeper, and the baby looked just like him, and they all playing. I'm thinking that she had to look and say, "No, that child looked more like my husband than my own." Yeah, he was like when the baby said, "Mother, mother, get you the chopper." If the first the first words were chopper, she should have known. But I think she just kept it quiet. But that's a better, you know, where everybody could kind of remember that. That that went public and that was nutty. That was a lot. Oh, look. Oh, he had to, he has to sip hot tea from that, Nick. No, it's coffee. Okay. Uh, for oh, my coffee. wife, I, I got her a coffee bar and I use it more than her. But it, oh, okay. It, I'm sophisticated well, He has now. coffee and not the Kool-Aid out the mason jar today. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's oh, oh, yeah, you need something warm so you can touch your. <clears throat> me, me, you me, know, me, me, me. Yeah, yeah, you yeah you okay. Me. Yourself, your feminine side. Oh, where my mason jar? My wife trying to f mess me up. <laughs> okay, you got it. You got it. I'm good. Hold on. Uh, look, Cornell. See what I'm saying? These guys, y'all be sticking together. But I love you guys for listening. I do. Got to <laughs> put a little homie. Can't let him get in trouble. Now you know what though, Cornell. Wait, I was with you, right? But but here's the thing. <laughs> we. I'm not gonna say all, but most women, we don't even have to lie because y'all be missing. We tell y'all exactly where we're going. And then if we tell y'all the truth, y'all don't believe us. Ooh, baby, because I know I did. <laughs> I just didn't say what right. I was doing while I was look, look, look at him. You want to know, huh? You, you want me to go? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm curious. Okay, before I jump into this, would you call the person that you were telling this to insecure? The person I was telling they about to get cheated on insecure? Oh, you, well, if you told him like that, shit. I mean, let, let's take you out of the question, Mel, because you, <laughs> you, you, you you walked up in point blank range. <laughs> but I, I mean, mean but can you handle the truth? Woo, I was a harsh no. one. I, no. Well, Man, is that really handle. harsh, though? Men can't handle the truth. When they finally find out the truth, they crumble. But here's you know why. Why, please? Because we put more into it than you guys. That is a lot. And guess what? You ready? Are you ready? Wait, I'm serious. Wait, I'm ready. Go ahead. Let me hear what he has to say. I'm curious. Okay, Mel. Me and you are getting in a relationship. Is that the time for me to say, hey, Mel can take care of me and Mel can make sure that my finances and she can help me with my kids and my bills? Is that that's my time to say now. that? That's, huh? that's just happening right now. I, 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 those talk. are the young kids. And those are the kids just raised. No, it's some mom. older ones. And that's it, it, it. But look, I'll tell you this. I don't want to get off subject, but Let's let's start this. Am I going to say I'm with Mel now so she can take care of me? Or are you going to say I got a man now? I'm not going to do that. So when we when we sign the contract to be with you, whatever it is, it's our responsibility to take stuff. You don't really have any responsibilities. You're not looked to to. Hey, babe. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I got with you, Mel. So now you can pay my car note. No, no. Pay my phone bill and take care of my insurance. It's not on you. So I'm investing more in it than you are. I, I, disagree. Oh, I disagree. Oh, okay. Well, guess what? Even though you disagree, that is the general consensus. And we're born with that because we are protectors and providers. So that's, that's no matter who we get with, that's the deal you get. But that's what we're putting in. What are you putting in? Other now, than I'm going to tell, tell, tell you what we're putting in now because it's, it's different now. It's different. Here's the thing. You say we are protectors and providers. I'll give you protector, but now you, you guys are looking for submissive providers in women. And that's where the problem is at. And well, it's you know not how you just, around wait, that? wait, wait, it's not just the younger generation. It's the older ones that I'm noticing. And it is because, let me say this, and you can let me know if I'm right or wrong. And I see the fellas in there. Y'all let me know. Is it because 
you've gone through and have lost so much because you guys have to start all over when you're in a relationship that you like, guess what? I'm going into this one. I, I'm not giving all. I'm, I need somebody that's going to meet me halfway. It or, could be. I, I can agree with, I can't I'm not argue about it because I know somebody who every time that they broke up with somebody, not that they was like dating everybody right. every year, they, the man has to leave. I'm going to agree. I'm not going to agree. I am going to understand. Okay. I understand what you're saying. But here's the thing. Oh God, I just had it. I said, oh, okay. It sounds like women get exactly what they want and now they don't, they got excuses for it. You want to be treated equal. No, no, no. Now the plan. For, no, oh, now, now you got to. No, I've always said the same excuse. thing. I've been saying that since I think the day I was born. If, if, if the feminine the movement, ones. if the fem, feminine movement worked, and we are created equal, why can't we do this? And this is now. This is not the person I am, and I'm, I don't want to use this as an excuse. It's just the last card I got in my hand, and this the six of club. The six of club got to work. I got to make the six of club walk. I'm gonna cut but it. If you're, if you're, the if you want this equal and everything like that, and now you have men exhibiting, well, she's equal. She can take care of me. We can't cry about it. So that means you're in the game now, and you can't cry about it. That's what equal is. Okay, well, don't, if, don't, if you, you don't use it. Let's go with the equality. Let's go okay. with the equality. Let's, shall I we? Hear, I hear different people say, and, and men talk about equality. That's what they go with when they have shortcomings. Okay? Yeah, uh-huh. Then you have those. I, 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 wait, I don't understand. No, no, let me understand. finish. Let okay. me finish. Okay, I'm trying to understand. So you have, okay, well, I can't meet these standards. So her standards that she wants. So what about equality? We can go in this half and half, but you still want to head the house. You still want to be the man of the house. That might cause a rip. Now, every woman is not the same. And the reason I'm going to say that is if you are a boss at work, and this is speaking from experience, you don't want to be the boss at home. You want to hang up that hat. And if you, it's not, it is not our fault that you hold us to a higher standard or put us on a higher standard. And just watch me when I say this, where you feel as though I'm capable, which I know I'm capable, but I can say this. Most women don't want to be independent. Most women don't want to be equal. We have to be. And guess what? If you fall short, instead of looking at it as an, uh, as a negative, like you want to be equal, look at it as an asset to say, guess what? I know if I fall, she got my back. So that's what y'all got to look at. And it's not, don't nobody want to take care of nobody. And mm -hmm. I got to say this for my other people out there. You're like, oh, okay, well, she just take care of her man. Well, guess what? If I really love this guy, I don't want to see him fail. And if you call that taking care of a man, then guess what? Put me in that category. Okay. Because and I know he's going to take care of me. Right. I'm going to say, say this real quick and then you can go ahead with, with your point. For my fellas out there, I challenge you. If you are in a relationship, real talk, even before you leave, ladies, I'm putting y'all on game. I'm putting, I'm putting the ladies on game. Take his hand and put it over your heart so that he can feel your heartbeat. And just to, just to remind him, to remind him that you have would you like to sing it? Feelings. No. <laughs> you go ahead and sing it. Bro. You always sing it. But for real, that, that real talk, if you take him and it just be something just callous, you just go grab his hand, boom, and then be like, I just want to let you know that I'm alive. Just a reminder. And then they'll go on about their business. So if they plan on doing something off kilter, know that was a conscious decision. And you got to do it before he go out with his boys. Okay. You, you going to guilt me in the niceness? Yep. <laughs> you yep. can't go to the twerking for Jesus church revival. <laughs> mm -hmm. Without saying a word. Without saying a word. Mm -hmm. Without no, saying a word. I'm I'm telling, let me tell you, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna tell you my favorite one. Go ahead. That I always use is anything you could do, <laughs> I could do better. That's a threat. That's a threat. See, see, that, see, and that's masculine. That, that's why he that's thinks masculine. the way he thinks. That comment is why he thinks the way he thinks. And watch this. And that's masculine. I can do better. No, I can't. I can change my tire. Do I'm going to show my tire? I do. No, I, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about guilt. No, anything. I'm talking about the guilt part. Before anything. you go out with your boys and yeah. saying you're going out with your boys, anything you could do, I could do better. Well, here's the gym. Oh, I'm going to say this. Out if you want to. I'm going to show you something. A masculine, a masculine move like that uh -huh. brings challenge. Men, we're masculine. 
challenge. Male with that feminine move gonna have me like, oh, I can't hurt her. A feminine woman always wins. She always wins. Look at all of your friends. And I, I bet you the most feminine of your friends is the ones that's married. She always wins. You do not meet a masculine man with masculinity because you just said you going you can do it better. Let's see. Ting ting, game and on. Let's go. Let's and dance. I did. Okay, okay. And where are you now? My choice. And see, that you know what? And let me say this: you always started up and say, "Where are you now?" Uh -huh. But uh, 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 uh. It has to be. Here's the deal: just because, and this is for my people who have been divorced, as I, as, as I, I, as I. Listen, you choose to put up with what you're going to put up with. I am not going to put up with anything just to say that I'm married. And for my lovely people who are out there, and I'm not saying that's what you're saying, Nate, but I just had to just okay. fill that out. For my people who have just recently been married, which I've witnessed this, which is hilarious, because they'll have, say they have children, and then they marry somebody else, so now that your children has a stepdad. And then now they want to talk about, oh, my husband. Oh, yeah, you need to have a husband. If you had a husband, you would know. Well, baby, she probably already had a husband. And you're like, oh, you single mothers. Okay, now they're single mothers. You married somebody else who stepped up in the place. And now you want to talk about a single mother who divorced her children's father. And guess what? Then you end up single. But I I, I was in a situation where, where I, had, I was privy to a conversation that was similar to that. And I had to say, yeah, you could be married today, but you could be a single mother tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Because once we got a divorce, guess what? I was a single mother. But the thing is, choices. All this boils down to the ain't nobody, ain't nobody about to get hurt and get, yeah, with our feelings, get cheated on and treated any type of way just to right. say, hey, I'm married to them. You crazy. Exactly. You ain't gonna break my face. I'll have my chicks. I'm out. I'm out. I don't want to put this bad light on the Martin Luther King of Jr., Dr. Reverend, but 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 what Cloretta never left his side. That she is raised their that's her choice. She raised their children and she never remarried. Okay. And, and there's, that's, that's there's books choice. on on the, 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 the good doctor. It wasn't oh. it wasn't puffy like, but oh. it was but but watch this though. What watch this stuff? Chose. Yeah, but what did she have? What what who did she have? Exactly. Time day day down the street and be sitting here. Guess what? If you chose day down day day down the street, that's what you chose. Baby, I go wait. Take two steps back. If it's, a, a reverend, if it's, go, if it's, it's cheaper to keep her, right? Excuse me. And that what the, that saying is that what y'all men say is cheaper to keep her? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, well, guess what? Women are. I'm gonna come up with one real quick for the women. But if I know. He's an asset, a huge asset. No, I'm not going to leave him. So my choice would be to do me and stay married. Well, why don't you choose the one that's an asset instead of choosing? Don't judge me on Ray Ray and Tyrone's behavior if you chose them. I hear you. I hear you on that one. Well, but watch this. Is that what this hero people grow. people grow. People grow. Oh, so, okay, grow so there's, you, have, you, an, you have a counterpoint. So when you are younger, when you are younger, and you get with somebody, boom, you get married. Okay, you don't know yet what they're going to be. But then if they lose ambition, baby, you lost me. Right. So guess and then what? you find yourself in different scenarios. So you have to look at your upbringing, your community. But and you have to take that into consideration because you'll have over and over where they'll be like, well, why all the ballers and this and that is always with a white chick? Because that's who's in their community at that time. That's who they see. Just like back in the day before social media, who did you go with your little boyfriend with somebody at the school, unless you all was at a community center or you met him over a cousin's house? It's, church, it's, yeah. who your, it's your community. So it's who's yeah. in your face. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, in, in college, it was who was doing your homework for you. So, so <laughs> oh, I've heard. See? Okay. So, so you so, stay so because heard. it's an asset to you. So, so, so I've heard. A, a mess. It, it is, so I've heard. A mess. <laughs> The homework. So you with the girl because she did your homework. And then me? No! No! But watch this though. So you want the girl to do your homework, but then you don't even really like her, but you're not going to let her go because guess what? This is going to be your girl, but you're going to be kicking it with this chick over here because this is who you really like. This ain't about me, ma'am. This ain't about me. No, I'm just like... 
<laughs> I, I'm saying what I'm saying, but it was an asset. So that would be the same thing. If I was Coretta Scott King, real talk, uh -huh. okay, I'm looking at the bigger picture. And a lot of women like to be that one. He chose right. me right. that all the other women want. Right. But guess what? You cannot put, listen, you can't put Tyrone or Ray Ray. You had any other children. You can't, you can't, no. you can't put. Uh, Tyrone and them resume against that. You can't say, well, Tyrone and them and this, that, and other, and you got an MLK. Listen, I'm not going to date you, and you got to go to work on my ex's birthday. Oh, you got to go to work on his holiday. So, I mean, she chose, or was chosen right, but her choices led to who she is. All this boils down to choices. And if I have to lie, my choices to lie to get you, I know Cornell ain't going to let me keep his car. So when you're like, hey, yeah, come pick me up and we can do this and my outfit match your car. And I'm sitting here like, uh, uh, so it's not just the lie. It's the choice behind it. I okay, can't let, keep this up. Let, let me, let me read this comment. My ex put me out because and divorced me. He didn't want me working. He's okay. seen my hairstylist, self-employed receivables and payables spreadsheet and saying I made more than he, not to mention started my carpenter's apprenticeship 18 years ago to discover my skills. I became a single mother fast. And I, I know um, <laughs> the thing with that. I, and the reason I say I know with that, that happens a lot. And, and that's sad. Me, it is to me. That's their own insecurities. It is. It is. I, I employ you. If I was single, I would. I wouldn't mind. I would not mind how much she makes because a leader is a leader. I don't have to make all the money. Somebody made money off of Dr. King coming to talk. I don't know why I'm on him. You know. That's all right. If, if, if I brought Cat Williams here, Cat's gonna. I'm gonna make a lot of money off of Cat. It's. It's still. I have to be the leader first. Okay. I shouldn't be worried about because guess what? If you making all that money. I'm I, I'm I'm gonna benefit. That means in my world, if you're making that type of money, that means hey, I ain't gotta really pay your phone bill. That takes a load off of me because well, wouldn't that wouldn't that knock you out the games to be no, available to major? No, 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 no. Because listen, listen, and what I'm talking about to you know, you have some men who have a problem with not making more than their significant mm -hmm. other, but wouldn't that knock you out the game to be available for some rich women? Yeah. I mean. No, no, I don't think so because that that puts all models, all actresses. No, it all, doesn't. I mean, Here, here's the thing: uh, Kiki Palmer, her husband wasn't Jack, but he he facilitated something. Maybe like him, him like me, he's a lyricist. But, he's, let me tell, but you you missing my whole point. Her him, he didn't have a problem with her making more than him. Right. That's right. Why, that's but, why I said for the person for the male who has an issue with the woman yeah. making more money. Yeah. Than him, it knocks him out the game. So here's your little box over here. You, yeah, yeah, you're right. And, and it could be a control thing too. It is. It, it, it's in, it's insecurity and it's a control thing. Okay, go ahead and elaborate on that control thing. Well, it's a control thing. He feels he feels his manhood is attacked because he's, he he attaches his manhood to his pocket. Every man attaches his manhood into something. You know, if you attach your manhood into who you are, being a man, I think. I think that's the best way. And I attach my manhood to being who I am. My value ain't in my pocket. My value is in my presence. So guess what? If I'm there, I can make it happen. I can, you know, Rihanna still be calling me, trying to put that baby on me. And she makes a little more than I do. You know what I mean? But so in her, so she don't need your money. So tell me. Right. What but guess what? I had to woo her with my presence. <laughs> So let me ask you this, because you do have, okay, imagine with me. Y'all know I'm a play, right? Imagine. <laughs> you're sitting there and you're out mm -hmm. at, mm, at a convention center, mm -hmm. per se. You see somebody across the room and you're like, oh, I want to talk to her, but I think she makes more than me. Do you make your move? Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, you know, before I fought the Lord. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The reason I ask that question is because the younger generation, they're going to make their move knowing all off top. They're like, oh, I don't care where mm -hmm. we want. And this is your words, Nate. Mm -hmm. We want men to date what we are, not who we are. 
I learned that from Nate the Agitator. I, I be dropping gems. They just got exactly. to every week. You just never know. You just never know. But some older people will be afraid to come and approach that female. And when they're afraid, and the chick be like, well, I don't need you for that. Right. But I Oprah need Stedman. companionship. Oprah Stedman. Oprah Stedman. Guess what? A lot of dudes would be scared to go talk to Oprah. She don't need me for nothing. Oh, she needs me for something. A woman, I mean, a man's really thing is, is hey, I'm going to help manage your feelings and your, your your reflections and stuff. I'm going to balance you out. That's that's in a man's job description. Okay, male, yeah, you should beat up night. She said this and she said that. I'm like, male, that's that's Nick. Is the bill not going to get paid? Let her think what she wanted. Don't it don't really facilitate it. And you say, yeah, I just love you. And then we got to watch Christmas in July and. The hard stuff, you know, Christmas in July and uh, what's that? Ugh. Time Christmas movies. Yeah, yeah. And, and that whole network, we got to sit there and watch that. The Hallmark. You. Hallmark. Hallmark. Yeah. Hallmark. Hallmark. yeah so, so I mean, we're here. We're here to balance you out. My value ain't in my pocket, and that's why I watch these videos where the dudes try to talk to the. The cold girls walking down the street and they dog them out and then they go sit in a Lamborghini and the girls come running back. That's here. This is a true story. And this is a little deep, but I'm going I'm to share this with the people. I don't dress in anything that I don't like Nike. I, I, I'm in, I usually don't dress in, in anything I don't affiliate with. So I don't stay fresh and clean unless I want to get fresh and clean because I don't want to attract. I don't want to attract the woman to think that I'm rich. This is, you know, when, before I found the Lord and before, you know. I'm, you don't, you don't want to attract the girl to think you're rich, so you're gonna go out there and. and I, I will go out there and play and stuff. I like I say, I kill with a knife. You have to get close to me for me to slit your throat. I don't have to be in. Yeah, dog, I'm missing. I got this and blah blah blah. To me, it, but they are successful in hunting. They are successful because they got the you know this that and other. I do enjoy my car, my Harley, but I mean, shoot. Just always got to be like ready for show. No, that ain't me. I, oh, I'll sit here. Okay. I'll come in it? with a. a, a, let, me go a to, let me go to the comments. That speaks to this one. My love language is communication assurance. You should have called me earlier, babe. You should have called me a couple years ago. <laughs> but you, so, so tell me this: If a female came to you and she just said, "I need you to love on me today," that's what you do. Okay. Okay. All but right. you have to, you if it's your it. female, if you if it's your female, you should know what that means. I have to know how to do that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, and that's in personal preference. You know, with you male, I would play a, a Gerald Levert song and light some candles and you know this, that, and other. For Nick, I play some park and cook some ramen. I'll walk away. Bye. You gonna do me the same way? I don't care. No, no, no. Wait, no. wait, wait. No. Let, let me go. Let, I gotta go to the comment for the man who is not masculine. You can't be soft with him because he will see opportunity to be masculine by hurting you. Make sure you're soft for the right man. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. pretty much what that that was pretty much what Nate was saying in reverse just then with that example when you was like, "No, the heck you ain't." Mm -hmm. So you deal with people accordingly, right? But you have freedom of choice you have freedom of choice i don't pull up in cornell's car and tell you yeah i got you girl get you a drink uh two waters no ice or whatever the case i'm doing oh, you know, some ice for me huh <laughs> let, let me tell you um i'm in this, this just happened uh, about two days ago i can't remember anyway so Dion cole the comedian inboxes me it was a hacker i'm sure no doubt so I'm looking like boom, 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 and I'm reading it. And what he said, and it was just really odd. I said, listen, if you are a hacker, please block me. I said, because I'm going to take your money. <laughs> Guess what? Block. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'll let you know that was a hacker. Yeah. Right. But that is so crazy. And so I end up going into Instagram. You know, they got the check mark. I'm like, hey, somebody got a whole page for thing. And I right. just want to let you know. But yeah, like people, guys are out there trying to scam women 
Yeah. There are some here in the States, and not just African people. But do you understand why? I understand that nobody's thinking. Well, Nobody, yeah. and this is why. This is why. Because how you got all this money and you need help with your mother in the hospital, paying mm -hmm. your bills, and you're supposed to be the king of Zamunda. Well, like, no. If that's the lie, but I mean, men are men are doing all this stuff because everything is being, I'm gonna say, taken away. Uh, my father used to tell me a story about how he graduated high school. And his, his dad was like, hey, you've been off two weeks. It's time for you to go look for a job. Mm -hmm. So he went down to the mill. <clears throat> they looked at him, told him to stand up, turned around, looked at his back. They said, okay. He said, what, I got the job? He said, they said, yeah, yeah. He said, when do I start? Two weeks or so? so you know, and I'll be back here tomorrow, today at three. Mm -hmm. So we are built, black men are built labor. We could do the laborers' jobs, the steel mills and stuff like that. But there are no more. All the, the skills are educated in in the you know back offices what you guys are going to school for so we're being extinct we're being wiped out so why because what? you have some chick do your homework in college instead of you oh. this ain't about me male and, and and i i i i adamantly disagree with your concept of who i am as a person i did Shots my fired. homework where the gun at Shots fired. <laughs> oh well let me get the gun i did my homework once or twice but I was there to carry the football. And it's our fault. <laughs> but, okay, no, James, James. but that's why you are the most you are the most educated people on the planet and it's that and other. But the big plan, the overall plan is to make us irrelevant. That's why you're a double minority and it's smarter if they can hire you. So we're we're down here fighting they over. Us they pay less. Huh? They hire us because they pay less. No, that's yes. wrong. That's, that's a whole different show, but I'll fight with you. Okay, you guess what? All day. I understand what you're saying. I understand it is a double minority. I get that. Right. And they win. So it's a triple. Right. It's a right. double triple. Right. It's the James and, um, what was her name? James and Esther? What was what was on, on Good Times? James Florida. and Florida. Florida. Yeah, James and Florida. Florida. We're going to hire Florida. Name. We're going to have Florida. Because she's a female and she's black. Right. So guess what? And we get to put her less. Then James. Wrong. No, they don't. No, they yes, don't. They, they just don't do. take as many jobs as we do. That's why y'all no. get paid less. No, 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 no. Okay. no, no. Me get the deadliest off. catch is hiring. The deadliest catch is hiring. Why don't you come high and find that? I'm making $62 an hour. There ain't no women doing what I'm doing. And y'all ain't out there cleaning bridges. So guess what? You get paid less because you're in the office doing the checks. So if you would do the same things we do, you would get paid. Say, okay, well, why would I, if I can pay women less, why would I ever hire a man? Because I can pay y'all less. Because we can't do it all. That, nah, so but, so but still, the math. The but, math. We, but we still. If I'm throwing garbage and they're paying this and none of y'all want to throw garbage. So y'all take the six a dollar an hour job and I'm doing the ten dollar an hour job. Hey, come on over here. We do need the Amber D up here to bring up the stats. Ah, she'll be on my side. She'll be on my side. Y'all ain't throwing garbage. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about. It. I'm gonna tell you what I know about a female, and I'm gonna tell you about the rights and the wrongs in that. Now that I can tell you, okay, because right now I believe right now we're we're only at what we're 16 percent less than men. That's how much on an average mm -hmm. we make 16 percent less than men. Correct. Which if you look at it. That is, we make 99 cents to your dollar. Overall, correct? Yes. Okay, well, oh. I'm the garbage man, and you're not. It's all right, but you got women who do toss the garbage. garbage. Well, they get paid but the exact same amount as I do. Can I give you an example? Can I give you an example? Let's hear Nick. Go ahead. What you got, Nick? Okay. Got my security license. Went to this job. There's a bunch of us in orientation. And of course, they were letting everybody know, don't take, because they always tell you, don't let nobody else know what you're making. We just happened to talk one day. Now, I'm working part time. This one working for them, and another guy working part time. He was making $19 an hour to my $13.50. We're both part time. There? But did you stay there? Hell to the no. Very good. But here's the thing if you same work, job. Why? Same job, same yeah. hours. Let, let okay. me. I, I pulled up uh, the Forbes. Well, somebody pulled up the Forbes for me. Mm -hmm. and I'm looking at it. 
So your girl, okay, we know what I'm doing. The current wage gap of 2024, women earn an average of 16% less than men. Mm-hmm. For every dollar earned by men now, a woman earns 84 cents. That's over. Oh, uh, that, that, let me finish. Mm-hmm. The controlled gender pay gap, which considers factors such as the job title, experience, mm-hmm. education, industry, job level, and hours work is currently at 99 cents for every dollar. So we're still under, just like I said. Hey, I'm glad. Thank God for the mind. Okay. I kept that in as I throw the other stuff out. Gotcha. But here's the thing. So we're talking the base rate. We're talking walking in the door. So now you have to consider the degrees. And that's how probably people are making, you know, over the top. But it's always been an injustice. And Thank that you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you about the injustice of the female. Here's the thing. And I'm glad to see who's on there. And I yep. learned so much. For mm-hmm. Mrs. Darlene Rogers, I'm gonna tell you what that time we spent. I learned so much, and boom, that can that's. I, can I answer that question? Okay, let me see. Nick, did you have the same number of years experience? See, okay, go ahead. Did you guess what? We were both starting out brand new. Okay, was okay. he white or black? He was black. Oh, he was black. Okay. Well, well, I'm telling you this. Everybody in the room was black. As an employer, okay. all I'm doing is hiring women. If I can pay them less. Why would men have jobs anywhere if I can pay you less? Because I don't care who's well, doing I did, the work. I think I'm you a reality right there. Like longer. I what? mean, for real, if I had a company, and I'm going to hear you, Nick. If I had a company, mm-hmm. and I know my company, let's say, boom, the meal, the steel meal. Mm-hmm. And you were saying that's usually what, physical, mm-hmm. physical labor. Mm-hmm. So how can I get this done? Mm-hmm. Boom, this is what I'm going to look at. And me being in management, real talk. I'm with you. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to agree with you, Nate. Uh, I would prefer. I would prefer a male because I won't have to deal with. Oh, okay. And I'm not. I'm. I'm. We shop talking. That's it. And I understand I justice. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it, male. Bring it. And it's like okay. Well, is she gonna have an attitude every month? Oh, is she going to call off because of this? She's not the provider, so she ain't feeling it today. She got an attitude. She calling off. And it's sad to say, but those are things that you have to look at. I look at me being in management in the nursing field, real talk. My male nurses, when they came through the door, oh, I definitely gave them a shot. The females, real talk. You could sit there and you'd be like, okay, everything is out there. All the proof, all the write-ups, everything is there. Come on, man. He is mad at you. For two years, you forgot about it. You go, you're like, okay, we have to have a conversation. Come to my office. Boom. You talk to a female, she mad for the whole week, uh, a year or so, rolling her eyes still. You done forgot all about it, but you're doing your job. Then you have a guy, you like, listen, this, this, and this. And then guess what? They're like, oh, okay. Boom. It's business. I have one nurse. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I, I, and I was the cool. I know I, I was. You do have attitude. I know I was the coolest manager. And I'm going to tell you, and some of them that thought I wasn't, after I left, they was like, oh, my gosh. I had one every time she filed her taxes, she would report off. So I said, listen, I'm noticing this. And she was like, oh, for real, Mel? I was like, yeah, so this is what I'm going to ask for you. I said, because it's called patterning. And we have somebody to answer to. I said, what I need for you to do is let me know when you file your taxes so that I can make sure that I have coverage. <laughs> right. So we both win. And then, boom, put in your time. That's all you got to do. Put in your time. And they used to sit there, put in their time, like, I'm going to be sick on the 23rd and 24th of December. It could be June. That works for me because I can devise a plan. But And it's trying to help somebody. But somehow, some people don't look at it. The females, a lot of the females don't look at it as helping. They're like, oh, ba 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 ba. Then they want to throw you under the bus. When she told me to put this in. You know what I mean? It's like, you're trying to help each other. But that's it. <laughs> Let me see. I got a reason to comment. Hold on. Um, no, I've been working at the mill 13 years, and what I found out is the guys are worse than some women. <laughs> it's the male version of the young and the restless or the bold and the beautiful. Child, That's horrible. That is horrible. I disagree. I disagree. It's, I it's, disagree. A, different, it's a different atmosphere. And, and if she's around, we have to act differently. I mean, if she worked in the mill that long, I don't know her, but I mean, if she worked there, I know she's familiar with 
guy etiquette and we're pigs and we're this, that, and other, and we're hoes and this, that, and other. Because we oh, now we got to y'all got to clean the bathroom, lift the seat up. Yeah, just to, yeah, just because she there. Down, I mean, you got to put the seat right, down. just because she there. So we have to change. All of us have to change everything we do because one of her is there. So guess what? A lot of guys don't do that, especially in the mill. You got these grunt workers, so they're going to tell it and tell stories and stuff like that. It'll be hard to shock her. I bet you it'll be hard to tell her something that shocks her because she's been in that environment. But one of her in a man environment. In 15 years, I can, I can imagine that. And for uh, Fatima, I can imagine that for other It, it changes people. everything. You put one woman in a, a, a male environment that's dominantly male, it changes everything. There was no need for HR before women came in the workplace. We farted on each other's heads, walked past them, and we threw spitballs and farted and talked messing in the, in the office and everything. One woman got there. Uh, can't say anything. I got, I got a question. I got a question. So for my ladies who work in male dominant occupations that's viewing, did y'all buy some air freshener for the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> They're probably like, we don't have to do that. We'll put the air I just want to know that. Hey. <laughs> I needed to see that. Okay. I'm the only female in my crew. I'm still there. Not one have changed. Look, see, there you go. Okay. She's like, H, yeah. 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 No, the other one. The other one. Oh, look, I got both bath air body work. See? No. Hey, hey. If, now, if these women, they walked into this, before they got there, they walk into the bathroom, the floor was sticky. You know, everybody spray painting across the wall and the, the yeah, Hey, that's what men do. But guess what? One foot, one woman there. Now we got potpourri in the bathroom. Leave we got potpourri. Listen, even booty cinnamon on the back. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the ass gasket. We got ass gaskets now because she here. But yeah, <laughs> then, and then we got to pay you as much as us. Come on, man. Yes. Booty cinnamon on the back. Money guys, more pressure. Get the ass gasket. But honestly, get your education. Do what it is that you want to do. That do do what it is you want to do. If you are not happy with it, put yourself in a different box where you are competitive. Do what you need to do to advance. You know, make yourself more competitive competitive in the workforce. Now, I want to get back to the topic. Why lie? So why, why can we handle the truth? No. But what was my shirt? What was the shirt? Lying is essential. Yes, that's your shirt. Yeah, it's Make the agitator. Lion is essential. It's essential. Get that for, shirt. <laughs> for, for, peace, for peace, for 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 gain, for anything like that. You know, I'm here and I tell a lot of my truth. You know, luckily people, a couple people find it entertaining. But I mean, shoot, I can sit up up here and lie. That, hey, I'm going to do this, but I'm I'm comfortable in my own skin. I mean, my That's my, where it's at. That's my man, my manhood ain't in my wallet or what I drive or what I do. I'm I, I, after this show, you know, I, I get caught out and they be like, hey, you that dude. Some people want to shoot me and some people just like, I love you. You know, this, that, and other. And it's funny. I, I, I like that. You know? But after the whole thing, goes, I come home to my wife. I mean, I'm comfortable. I don't need you to love me or anything like that. So okay. a lot what of people you? lie because they're not comfortable or they figure they need to have an air on to attract you or. You know, I, I lie to my wife. No, you don't look fat. Yeah, that tastes good. Because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Okay. Egg situation. You know, like, remember the egg situation with a dude? Oh, oh yeah, you? exactly. You just said that. And you was like, why wouldn't he say nothing? You just did it. You the, said what? Yeah, that oh, tastes the egg. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that tastes yeah. good. Uh, let me tell the people to catch him up real quick. It was a guy who was married to his wife for 23 years. And he told her when he was finally done with the relationship that he hate eggs. And he said, I, and I don't like eggs, but he's been eating them for 23 years because he told his wife that these were the best eggs he's ever had. He didn't say he liked them, but he said, these are the best eggs I've ever had. And so she made them every, trying to appease him, made them every day for breakfast in 23 years. He ate eggs and he didn't even like eggs, poor thing. But people feel like that's what he get. He should have said something, but he was sparing her. Feelings. <laughs> Nothing more than. I, I, let me go to the comment. Um, okay, I'm going to break said, down. <laughs> uh, Yes, we can handle the truth. It's the lie we can't handle because we already know the truth. Know the truth. But why do we ask? It, it, it's, it's, the way tell it. it's the way y'all communicate. Y'all talking. See if they're going to tell it. 
women talking stories, so you need to have a story. It's just like, if you already know the truth, why are you asking? It's just like saying, um, I had it in my mind. It's just like saying, okay, so if we didn't ask and we already know the truth, then we'll just, be just deal with the truth. The truth. Now we're making an assumption. Well, it's better than trying to sit here and fish for your answer because y'all try to hurt us. And women will ask you questions you said fish. around here and a no. You will say, hey, don't you want to go get something to eat? No, I'm good. Well, aren't you hungry? Don't you want this? No. Or here's the here's the one. Hey, let's go get something. Eat. Okay, baby, what you want? I don't know. You pick. And then you pick and be like, I don't I want pick. No, I don't want that. No, I don't. And you give me, no, I don't want that 18 times until we go to the finally play uh, uh charlie staples yeah let's do that why didn't you just say let's go get something from charlie staples well she was it's the way you before. speak and the way women communicate here's, so a, here's, here's a fun fact here's a fun you fact in parables it, right true? right and, and guess what women speak in parables and women don't like each other that's the way y'all communicate and y'all don't like each other so what, what how, do, how do i come in and win in that situation i don't speak in parables how do you speak? You speak in lies. Direct. Lies is essential. Direct. direct, direct, direct. My lie is direct. That's all we want. Be direct, so, especially oh over forty. What lie? Either you in or out. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. you. You're Thank right. you. And if I tell you, that's what I mean. But guess what? Well, that might mean. Well, that's supposed to be this, that, another. This, that, another. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. It means no. Well, why? And then I got to write a whole thesis on. The reasons that I don't want to buy this type of toilet paper. Why don't you, men just be like, yeah, whatever. Uh, I hate that. Yeah, whatever, though. Hey, yeah, whatever. I don't so, care. So does that mean when a man says, yeah, whatever, does that mean I don't even want the fight? I know it's going to be some kickback. So hey, hey, it's us just, hey, listen, whatever. whatever Calling the truth. Peace. Whatever keeps the peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And see, when I say, yeah, whatever, it, it, it'd be like, well, why you say it like that? And, and you, know, you know, you know what trips me out, and and I, I'm doing a new study, and I need the guys to to weigh in on this. Do your woman understand when you're doing this stuff? Uh huh. What? Yeah. Oh wow. Mm hmm. And you yeah, always got to throw in a. You always got to throw in a no. Nah. But I don't even think they get that we're not even paying you no attention. They can't. Mm -hmm, I, I was like, you ain't listening to me anyway, are you? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked that question. You're not listening. Whatever, bye. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah, I mean, now, what you do? What you do in that is you ask them a question, and then we be like, "Huh?" That part. <laughs> like, well, that's that's up real quick. But I'm like, I'm, grape I'm, and strawberry. I'm have fun that's, 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 that's what you do. That's what you do, Nick. You be like grape and strawberry. They be like, "That's when you know." Throw them off real quick. But, but we're already 30, 45 minutes in before you realize that. <laughs> it's not really because let me tell you, I'll be on the phone or I'll leave. I'll just pack up and leave, grab right, my yeah. stuff, and they be like, "What happened?" Man, well, you're what happened? You weren't listening to me. I do that to my mm -hmm. homies too. My homegirls, if I'm talking and they say something, as soon as you hit that uh huh and they hit that sigh, uh, I just go ahead and hang up. They'll be like, <laughs> What happened? Well, you weren't listening. So it don't matter. Right. Well, I'm going to keep talking. Now, let me give you a scenario. So you talk to your significant other on the phone, you FaceTime, mm -hmm. and you're talking to them. And they're in the hotel, so you FaceTiming them. And you see, the other bed is unmade. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Come on, Nick. Talk. It's a talk. Somebody been in that room with you. Unmade, I would I would probably leave that because even if you throw your luggage on it, you would yeah. It's still made it's up. It's not gonna be rumbled up with pillows yeah. all type of yeah, I would have questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you ask that question even though you know the truth? No, no, or no, no, you no. You you better ask the question, but you put it in a, a firm voice. Hey, uh, why the hell is that bed unmade? Because I want to. Because I, 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 golly, that means I'd be agreeing with you if I say this. <laughs> no, I can't have that. Um, uh, opposite of what you think. <laughs> okay. No, I mean really, like. Do you mention it or do you not? Because you saw it, and then all of a sudden you act funny, or they think that you're act the opposite is acting funny. Be like, well, why are you tripping? Well, what is that a sign of insecurity, or is it is I it would, uh, whatever? It it's not insecure. Whatever. I think it, it it's for clarification. 
And I mean, if you ask things for clarification, you're not being insecure. You just want to you, you want to know the knowledge before you start. Well, that means what? You blink three times with your left eye. Well, that we already means, know. No, but you want to be sure because then it, then my reaction is different. Let me be sure my hurt is my hurt. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because I don't want to go through this for nothing. I ain't going to sit here and not say nothing and be like, sitting here, her bed, that other bed wasn't made up. And she didn't call me for five minutes after she checked in. She could have got a quickie in. Then my mind is running. I'm, I'm thinking, why don't I just say, hey, what's up? Why the, why the bed unmade? And you hear it, then you have the you have the choice to believe it or not to believe it. But okay. if I sit here and don't ask anything, my, my my mind is wandering. And one thing men don't waste is time. So hey, what what the hell? What's up with that bed back there? Scoot over, scoot over, Nick. Why is that bed in me? And she's trying to talk to you all sexy or whatever, and then you look it over. And the, okay, so okay, because that's usually a female thing. Um, okay, I'm reading the comments. Here you go. Is the bed he's sitting on made? Don't mention it. Don't mention it. You're looking for something that may not be a problem. Okay. Now, I don't know if, I don't know all of that. I I just got like the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know all of that information, but let's just say you talk FaceTiming at night, two o'clock in the morning, just for the sake of conversation. So I'm, I'm going to say no, that bed that they're sitting on probably is it made because it messed up right both of, both of them messed up i don't yeah. know yeah because i, I spray yeah, paint one bed and sleep another if, if i if i'm in a double roll <laughs> 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 the sticky the sticky the honey is in that bed the sticky you got another bed i don't want to sleep in the wet spot let me sleep oh, I, 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 get, I get the velcro sheets over there <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I pay attention to everything. Yeah, okay. you, you, you post this up. You, you post the videos. I'm paying attention to. Okay. What you what women do. So if you don't say anything, and then um, I'm looking at the guy in the comments. So if you don't say anything, and you just like, all right, you just threw your hands up. Is that that? Wouldn't that be similar as the yeah, whatever? Yeah. So you yeah, usually I, check I mean, out. No. If you don't care. That's a, that's a lot of trust. I mean, if you don't have to answer, you know what type of woman you get. And you, you know, if you don't, if you don't ask, because it'll eat you up. But, now, but, but yeah. that bed ain't the first thing. That wasn't just the first incident. Okay, let's say for the sake of conversation, it was the very first thing. Well, you might not, you might not. I don't mail mailing like that. I don't know what's going on. So I don't care about it. But if I care about it, I have to ask about it. Because I'm not going to sit here and, and wonder. Because if I'm sitting here wondering, I'm wasting my time. Yeah, so you check out. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. You, you check out. Or leave. You don't know why. But you know what I was thinking? So I didn't, that was the question. I didn't answer it. I said, we'll talk about it today. It could be one of two things. Because obviously, my thought first was I didn't answer her. I felt like, well, if he FaceTimed you, he it didn't, couldn't have meant nothing to them. Because it never means nothing to us. Or, or is it that, oops, I made him, oops, I didn't do that. You know what I mean? So it could be one of two things. It could be, oh, I don't care nothing about that. Maybe the homie's slipping. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So that's one thing. It could be nothing. Or it could be, oh, I forgot to hide that because I'm just bad at this. Men are not good at covering their tracks most of the time. We're not. We're not. The stuff don't hmm. mean as much to us as y'all. You're like, oh man, that ain't nothing. You and you'll come in. It's not good at covering their tracks. But here we we'll come in the house oh, and I'm lay in the bed and get and y'all y'all walk into I didn't clean this house everywhere, and you'll I'm find sure a strand of long blonde hair. I'm like, where the hell was that? It was behind your garbage. And I don't have blonde hair. I'm like, dude, we ain't ah, late, but you'll come in looking for that. Okay, wait, let me say this. Most times when women find something, we're mm-hmm. not looking. It'd be like, boom, well, smack dead in your well, face. I, 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 had, I, I get in the car and I see uh, eyeliner. I use Maybelline. That's not mine. Who's here? Well, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. A, a, oh, I, I don't know if the fellas will give me this one as a pass. I'm just gonna let them know a secret. If this is the dirt, 
if I got the dirt in my hand and I want to hide it, I said it right in front of you because you'll never look. Your women never look right there. That's why I say y'all don't either. And we tell y'all the truth. And y'all be like, ah, I'm it's a joke. And you be like, no, nope, I'm about to go over to Mike's house. You be like, have a good time thinking she playing and she really at Mike's house. Then what? I tell you what, I, I'm getting ready to go over to my homegirl's house to play cards. Yeah, I play cards. But guess what? At the end of them cards, guess where I was at? <laughs> In the bed with uncle. Yeah. <laughs> when you say uncle, I'm going to Uncle like, was a little bit older than me, just a few years older. What? Yeah, right I got tired. So, okay. Yo. But why lie? Be like, why don't you just lead a relationship? That's right, Nick. Why are you lying? You say you're about to get cheated on. That means this right here ain't working for me. That's right, Nick. Why are you always lying? Guess what? I wanted to serve up. A, I, wanted you, I wanted this individual to feel how I felt. It, I, it ain't I, the but, same. But the it, thing, it, it, yeah, it is. Yeah, well, you're right. It isn't because you know it devastated this person when they finally found out four years later exactly. but my thing is exactly you my know why. thing is it, you like i said it was good for the goose good for the gander i got tired of being the perfect nice person i got tired i just snapped one day but yeah but, i would I would be like oh, i'm gonna go but, over but, my but home girls and play cards i was over at my home girls house yeah. but, but i wasn't what? over there by myself guess what this is the difference but i, I told you where i was going you know how oh, i'm gonna take her uncle to the doctor I did. You know how me and Fantasia got together? You know how me and Fantasia got together? We was out someplace I was how charming and I smashed. I don't even remember her name. It, it I, I tripped over it. It was you just that and of it. But you plotted, planned, and knows this dude's birthday. You know his favorite color and everything. You put feeling into you. Sex I ain't know just, all that. I didn't give a damn. Well, you a dude. Me. Well, you do. Hey, you get your prostate <laughs> checked yet? Have I you had your prostate exam yet? I got tired. I <laughs> but, got but, tired. But hey, I got tired. Here's the thing, and this is men. Women that will smash frivolously, that's not a woman thing. That's why we always go back to the, the body count and stuff like that. But a, a, a woman who will just smash a dude and not know his name, don't know nothing about it. Women smash with feeling behind it. Dude smash because she got a nice yeah. What's her name? Oh, uh, you know the girl. She was in the yellow. You, you the, the one with that, the walk in with that. Yeah, her. We was doing that. You, you know Tyrone Biggums? Yeah. <laughs> His well, mama lives here. Biggums, <laughs> you know, he play in the church choir. His favorite color is green. That's when you smash. So you put feeling and everything else involved in it. Us, now, I'm not condoning it, but it's how it is. I'll tell Cornell, you remember that girl who used to love there? He said, oh, the one with the Jerry curl and this, that, and other. Yeah, what's her name? I don't know, but you know what? I meant that and this, that, and other. He don't know, he don't know her, her blood type, her social security number, all these things you know. You, you going through the change, baby? I feel like it. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, listen, I feel like I'm over here trying to. Under them lights. Wait, I have to turn the heat on the back of my knees with sweat. And I was like, I. Yeah. These, these hot have, flashes is tearing me up. I need, but I'm trying to I'm still. A, I'm up under remain, these lights. You know. you are, but you know what? See, I got lights too. Yeah. That's why I was yeah. like, oh, we got to do it. Here's the thing. We premeditated. I saw that there. Yes, oh. we do. We do. Oh, I'm just going to sip my coffee to that one. Premeditated. We, we definitely plan. We plan because we're ready for the questions. And we call our homie. Listen, don't call my house. Don't call my house because I'm with you. I'm about to go over here. So somebody else knows. But here's the thing when you have that, the downside to it is um, that the homie that you probably telling she's going to smash your dude. But, and here's the thing. Then I you write another feelings. book. Other you way have... becomes the other woman, too. Did you? You're right, you're right. You got a part two. Uh, oh, my God. Baby, baby, your girl stay, 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 grab one because two's coming, the masterpiece. That's Power right. of the panties, baby, come on. Right. But the difference is, We've I've been always waiting on said, that. I know. I've always said the difference is, you smash with feeling. You F with F. F with feelings. We well, we're emotional people. Exactly. But it, th that makes it worse. L listen, and it does because once you get our mind, our body will follow. Right. That thing. Right. Hey, guess we're what? Friends. We're there. Nick, Nick, you ain't got to take me out we to dinner. We my ego and you we ain't got your to, ego. You ain't got to take me to dinner. You ain't got to buy me flowers. You can hit this. But watch this. I don't even want to hit it, but I can feed your ego to get a nice dinner. But that's it. 
But well, you I, don't don't, wanna, I don't want to smash. I'm not that's most. Well, I'm talking to Nick because Nick says she just uncle was there and he was around and he happened to have a heart on. So hey, why not? Man, eh, why not? Yeah, that ain't what I said. Well, oh, I so, said so, so, so you plan. Plan. So you plan. I didn't say all that. I didn't listen. Listen, I was separated because somebody decided to leave me for another chick. And therefore, I met Uncle a month later after I was separated, and we start kicking it. It just so happened me and the other one end up back together, and I still continue to. Okay, so you lied. So wait, you lied. Wait, that's why I was waiting. No, I, I told him where I was at. Wait, wait, I gotta ask this question: Is it considered a lie, though? If they if they were apart, that's not considered a lie because you don't exactly. have to ask. It's a lie because she, if she had to ask or tell him or let him, why would you even? If y'all were apart, why would you say, "Yeah, I'm going to play cards." It wouldn't be it's irrelevant if we yeah that's irrelevant i'm talking about when we got back together i would still be going over right, there i'm going right to so, so you lied <laughs> no i didn't because why? i was over there playing cards hey, but why that not? wasn't the only thing i did while i was over there but i did go over there to play so cards. You so, you so you play one round of uno and so went up there wait 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 so you omitted information and that's not considered no lie. because that wasn't always the plan to go over there to do whatever after playing cards i was over there all day, one every round day. of uno wait, wait, every wait, night wait, except wait. for when i'm in the studio run that back run that back run that back you said i was going to play cards but i was going over there um i ain't tell him i was going to be with uncle so right was, I, I was over there with him wait, 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 we didn't always that's why somebody in the comments there premeditated. Premeditated. Because we're listening. And here's, <laughs> here's <laughs> okay. It's there you go. Todd's on your side. He was like, it's never a plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's it's not always plan. Always plan. It really like, wasn't. Here, here's the thing. If I'm going to dinner, what okay, my, my example, when I say you're about to get cheated on, that's a plan. That's a plan, but that's a plan. I'm letting you know. You know I am if, informing you. Right. This is what's about to happen. So that means get it together, call it a riddle or whatever, because this right here is not working for me. And I would rather leave the relationship than to go and hurt somebody or feel like I wronged somebody because every single relationship that I've been in, I had a clean slate. I did everything that I could do. And if I knew that I wasn't getting what I needed, and that's, here's the thing. And I suggest people do this. If you are not getting what you need and you're focused on the other person, that's the wrong relationship. It is. But in, in, in you in night, Nick, when you went over there and didn't have it planned, where you went over there and played your round of Uno, and were you like, why do you keep putting draw two, draw four in me? No. <laughs> well, you, well, you planned it. Free meditation. Of you're guilty. Not. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually with females, it's it's premeditated. It is, <laughs> and she has feelings for the dude. She knows a lot about him. That, that's gonna... just for me reading, but I'm not a guy, right? But oh. I'm telling you, a guy. I'm not condoning it, and, but and, and it doesn't have to have feelings. I don't got to feel for you. Most of the time, I ain't trying to be funny though. Y'all don't even know it's already premeditated for you to come over and fix our tire or fix our plummet or something messed up. Y'all don't even know. Y'all just walk into the trap. Uh, the devil. <laughs> that you know, nothing happened when Eve bit the apple, but he knew he can get you hurt. Got everybody calling home. me Nike now. My name is Nick. Nicky, well, Nicole, the why is, not Nike. Know, the why is silent. But anyway, nothing happened <laughs> when Eve bit the apple, but the devil knew he, if he got her on his side, he can take down man. Oh, he got her mind. He got her mind, and the dude. Listen, y'all walk into that all the time, and most times. We see y'all might think it when we see it, y'all need to stop because it's blatant. And a woman knows a woman. Mm -hmm. And some of y'all be sitting there acting like y'all don't know. Oh, well, I didn't know. Well, I told you. Stop talking to her. Stop. We see where it's going. Mm -hmm. Is it insecurity? No. It's like, dude, I'm letting you know. And if you continue to talk, then guess what? They're more important than I am. I need to check out. I'm going to go ahead and clock out. I totally agree. My badge is right here, sir. I left everything there. <laughs> I no just called out. I can't argue at all. Can't argue at all. Okay. There you go. Look at Nick sitting over there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you the one that told me I not to talk. I got tired. 
I got tired of being. Why don't you say that and quit oh, lying? No, because it's really not about her personally. Honestly, right. it's not. Right. We just, you know, and I'm not going to say hypothetically speaking because she actually confessed. But yeah, she, I just feel like got that from we do. Women do what they want to do, and men just be lying. And that's what I'd be like. Why do all men lie? All men are dogs. Why do men lie? Women lie as well. But why over forty? Why? We all grown. You got your own place, hopefully, if you don't keep moving. You know what I'm saying? But you are you're financially stable or stable. You have you have a home. Let me say that. Even if you're not financially stable, you know, you run in your house. You the management. Every house has a, man, a manager. I believe that wholeheartedly because I need to know when I am not treated right, I need to speak to management. Well, so everybody's managing their own home. Why lie? To keep a dude? Because the babies ain't Why working. Lie? They, Why they be out, talking about I'm pregnant. That ain't working no more. Mm, sure ain't. Well, here. But, but here, 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 here why, why lie? If your wife is asking you a question, like, the the, whole what, what's up? Why, what's this text message? Why is this chick text messaging me telling me you just left her crib? Da, 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 da. Yeah, and you lie about it. And I'm looking at screenshots of your, your conversation, and you still well, gonna lie? Well, here's okay, the thing. Got you, bro. It's different when a man. So lie. yeah, it was the difference between the difference between a man lie and a woman. He's still lie. stuck on that. Go, no, go no, ahead. No, no, go ahead. The woman's lie is has it's not held to the same accord. Uh, what state is it when they were tried to mandate DNA testing, where the baby you you say you got a baby, but we mandate all babies must be be DNA tested, and the women were appalled with the stuff. And, and they got it shut down because what he can't trust me. No, we just want to make sure, and we're going to DNA test all the children that are being born. Women went crazy because you're not because of their feelings. And guess what the law did? Okay, well maybe we won't do it. Maybe well, you say it's Tyrone, and you know your body, and this, that, and other. So it's Tyrone's. Let's ruin his life. This, that, and other. So. Our lies don't. Why oh, we gotta you. ruin your whole life? My gosh! Because I was trying to get with right. this blood, and and we just had a little thing, and I thought the condom work. You know, uh, sometimes Hercules, you know, Rollo Supreme is on extra, and he busts too. But I mean, I wasn't trying to have a baby, and then you say it's mine, and I don't think so, or whatever the case may be. But then I want to find out the truth. Let's have a DNA test. No, okay. Well, she said no. So here, pay this child support. Okay. So your lies are covered and governed and 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 forgiven. Well, the, you say you don't know what state. I I remember the state of Ohio was trying to do it. See, and, oh, but there it is. And I was like, no, it's my body, and you can't tell me to get. Well, I told you it was Jesse's baby, so he don't need a DNA test. I said it. Okay, well, Jesse, come sign this. Well, let me, let me, wait, wait, let me this. Stop, 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 stop. I got to I got to put this information out there. Um, right now, there is no state under the federal law of the United States that require DNA testing. However, they have the VAP. That's that's the volunteer acknowledgement of paternity. When I worked at the prison, I used to do that. I used to do the DNA testing before they would get out um, on all the inmates for a whole bunch of stuff to see anything in poor children. And the ones that have that program is Ohio has that. We have that um, Tennessee, Maryland. I feel like it's another one and I can't remember which one. So if y'all over in the comments, check that out. But I know it was Tennessee, Maryland, and Ohio for certain. Oh, so when a woman... Can I want to say Florida. Florida got so much stuff going on. That's why I'm like confused. But so why can this, they say, a woman says, no, I don't want to get the DNA test so you we know the righteous father of this child. And that holds up in law. And they don't understand that they can't say, uh, I need an abortion. And they be like, no, you can't do that. But if you have the baby and you want to lie about it and put it on Todd Rogers, because he got a couple chips and he he he, he got green eyes or whatever the case may be. That's he, funny. He, and you don't even know him. And I do. And you describing him. I know him. He grew he, oh, okay. he DQ, okay. baby. We, we are the same club. No, he ain't no Q. He's a Kappa. He, no, no. DQ oh. is each side. You know, everybody oh. just DQ knows. Oh, he's a DQ. Right. Okay. Okay. DQ. So, but I'm saying the law says, 
oh, well, she doesn't want to have a DNA test to tell us the truth about who the father is. That's totally okay. But if she says, I want an abortion, no, you can't do that. That's against the law. So everyone lies. And just we, <laughs> we're, we're prosecuted for ours. They I they make people, excuses. I think people should know. They get ex you get an excuse for yours. Well, she doesn't want to have a think, DNA test. I think that's fair. I think everybody should know. You should know your lineage. I right? yeah. You should be you. Every child should be DNA tested. I mean, from I, I caught it. I here. encourage men. Take I encourage men to you know just in case. Right, I encourage men. I, enc please. I encourage it too. I encourage it, but demand the law demand it. No, but the law states that she doesn't want to do it and she doesn't have to. Her lie goes. Guess what? It's my baby because she didn't want to have a DNA test. Well, Unless I, until, uh, after child support, I get the hold of it and I do the swab on the married, side. But if you are married, that child is automatically yours. Right. And, and it's not. Weird, Sometimes it's not. It's not. I say automatically right. yours. Right. And what's weird is that your child is carrying your married last name and that's not even your child. And and guess what? And if it comes oh, out that I'm not, they say, say we're not going to bastardize a child. Let me, so finish with the facts. let me finish with the facts. So with that, when they were trying to do the whole state uh, mandation of the paternity test, if you were married, you didn't have to. But if you were unmarried, you would have had to. Now, I will say the same thing with the VAP. If you are unmarried, yes, the voluntary acknowledgement paternity. And that's if you get in government assistance, you have to. So they, they call it voluntarily volunteer, but it's not. So if you get in government assistance, you know how to be like, you got to take this paternity test in order for you to get your checks for us to take care of your child. That's it oh. in a nutshell. Hey, fellas, now stay with the it. hood rats. Fellas, stay with the hood rats. They got to take you, you know what I'm saying? Leave these independent, making money boss women alone. Stay <laughs> with the hood rats. They can't get away with the lie. Thank but you, you man. Yeah, I real, real talk. I um, we talk about that at the beginning of the show when you said that, um, you know, why would you even be with that person? Remember, like, be with somebody with money. If you go on date somebody, usually you can start off, you could think they got it going on. And you'd be like, okay, two family household, I'm gonna date this dude. Boom, if I get knocked up, I know what it is. So you do have to pay attention. I know now with th this generation, a lot of these young people aren't getting pregnant like that. They, I mean, you got so many different forms of birth control, but they're like, no, I'm trying to live my life. And then you have some people who still mm -hmm. have that attitude of, or that mentality. Yeah, I'm trying to have a keep a ninja baby and it don't work because that ninja going to be done left the country. You got a passport and you over here raising your child. <laughs> and they talk about some, a volunteer acknowledgement paternity. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to come back in the country and say that that's mine. So it's here. a whole different world right now. And, and the All sad right. part is if, if Mel, you told me it was my baby in six years line on the line, we found out it's not mine. That's why they, they won't take me off for child support because it will bastardize the child. And well, you signed a birth certificate. Okay, but you lied. You lied. I, you're right. I, I can. Well, and, and, I can so that. therefore, I am still paying after. After I found out it was Todd's baby, I'm still on the hook because we don't want to bastardize the child. So, as I said before in the topic, your lies ruin lives. I was with Cornell and them. I hurt your feelings. It might ruin our lives. lives. It might ruin yours. Should be stalking you. Well, of course, you know, when I let, when I swing the hammer, uh, I'm sorry, different show. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so you got to take that into consideration as well. But when you deal with, um, when you, when you say, you sound like, I can't think of his name, what was his name? Kevin Samuels or something? Yeah. When he was saying, the well, why would you have a problem with somebody that you don't want to marry? And I agree, but that's, at that, that's, but that's at that age. So when you're younger, I mean, I can't really speak to this because I actually married my children's mm -hmm. father. So, yeah, that was it. We do want to be married. We do want to marry the person. It's up to the father to say, hey, yay or nay. Well, yeah, because we you control access to sex and we control access to relationships. So, so guess what? Yeah, what? we so want your is? sex and you want our relationship. So it, it's a it's a give and take. It's a battle. But it's actually, a, like the way things are going now, the chicks want the sex. Too, and more. They, they knock the cats too. off trying to see. I need to see what I'm dealing with before I say I do. Because right, the, it and, might be and, and, like, Remember that, that show? Remember that one show, Nick? Where the, the lady, um, she like was practicing abstinence, and then when she got with him, her dude, he didn't work. Remember that? Remember yeah. the show? She took it. He, <laughs> yeah. he, 
He took super yes, I of her and went took him out to an extravagant thing and they tried that to was do wild. it. Wild. Yeah. But I mean, hey, but that's the de- disintegrating our us as a culture. Because so that, when, that? Well, well, you got women speak acting like men, masculine energy. Look, a uh, 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 garden tool. This is the difference between a garden tool and a woman. If I hurt a woman, she's not going to run out for other things. She's going to resort back to being a woman. A garden tool, if I hurt her, she's going to go out and garden tool. If I break up with you, male, and whatever I did in the case may be, a woman always backs up and gets her bearing. She doesn't resort to because she never was into that. She backs up, she gets her bearings, and she becomes a woman. She protects her womanhood. Okay. Versus. And it's harder for the next person. And then that dude mad talking about something. How did he get it so easy? And I got to work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever the, whatever the case. Oh, oh, that's how you feel. But whatever the case is, how that next person judges you. But uh-huh. you, re- you resorted back to yourself. Your self value, your self worth, and you uh-huh. look at the playing field, and you said, "I'm going to do this different." You didn't just be like, "Well, if he can do it, I'm going to do it." Okay, let's go to let's go to this comment. I tell everyone I'm going to have my side pieces. You definitely going to be popping Plan Bs like Tic Tacs. I'm not leaving anything up to an emotional woman based off of day to day feelings that could change about me. Let the church women want to be masculine until it's time to be accountable for men type behavior. Ooh. Who said that? You, you, oh, you got me hot and bothered. Got me a little moist. I got me a little moist. <laughs> but here's women don't want to be masculine. But you are. No, you really not. No, no, no. Okay. All right. No, so you're telling you really me. Don't. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Y'all not masculine. How's it working for you? Oh, it's working wonderful for me. Okay, cool. In, in, in the majority, male. Let's talk majority. How is that working off uh, off for the majority of women? What not being masculine? I told you one thing. We don't want to be independent. We have to be because of your we choices. Because of your choices. Mm-mm. Oh, oh lord. My choices, I love, my choices are grand. Now, if you, if you got bad choices, if if your options are whack. And they look, let me tell you one thing about a fella, that that a line fella. And you said it yourself. You come, you done borrow Cornell's card, ain't thinking this and that, blah, blah, blah. If you're looking at the material things, he get the people can off. come, people can come and they're packaged this way. And then that beautiful package that you saw, it starts getting raggedy. And watch this. Not that you just disrespected the package. No, you found out in the inside after you done opened it up that it was fruit mm-hmm. and the fruit had rotted. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wait, this is smelling. Hold on. Now, all this that was packaged, packaged so nice, it was like, what is that smell? Let me see what's happening. And it's fruit. Mm-hmm. So you get the good at the beginning, but it does expire. Really? So before, be, look, before the real person comes out, that what, six months? That's what, that's right. what steady show? Right, right, right. I can only... Pretend for like six months. Right. Well, and here, then you're here. like, okay. And then we, being emotional people, we go, you didn't date it, our mind. This is it. We're trying to find the person that you presented. So yeah. we stay and we stay. Your and choice. then what's the name? Well, yeah. why did you choose to leave? Well, it ain't the same. Well, that's, that's, that's exactly it. That's no. exactly. When you change, I change. Well, 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 like when you well, move, I move. Just, just like, like that. that. But if you don't, it's not my fault. If you found out I've been lying and, and I drive a Pinto and I live in my mama's basement, at that point, if I ain't already smashed, uh-huh. you say, hey, I'm going to get off this ride. You oh, When you ride the bus, you just bing, and they'll stop the bus so you can get off. That's all you got to do. But don't ride the whole bus the whole way and then get mad after you found out the truth. Or no, I'm getting off. Exactly. But if you don't, it's not my fault. And. And if you're mad, it's your fault because you presented you presented a lie. Is this did I already smash before I, I you found out against my lie? Probably. Well, guess what? That's your fault too, because you hold access to sex. So if I got the sex because I lied, like two years that? later, year later, whatever. Yeah, okay, I got you. That's good. That, that's, that's your fault. That's good. It's still your fault and your choices. 
It, it's our fault. It's our choice. We leave you. Then we wrong. I can't get yeah, it. Wrong. What, you, what you got, Nick? You're not wrong. Can't win for losing. What, what you got? So we put up with we, your we really can't. We really can't. We put up with your mess. You sitting there like, oh, well, this and that. It's always it reverts back to our fault. And then guess what? We sit there, we have a baby by somebody else. It's our fault. Yes. You, no, we're putting up with your mess and you paying for it. Okay, bye. You, you and then you're gonna try to use the example. Coretta Scott King. Okay, I'm never going to say that she was foolish because she was quite smart. I wouldn't have left if I was in that situation. And you want to cheat? Legacy. Cheat all you want because I'm. Not, this is who you are. In the so legacy. I already know, and that's right. fine. Right. But I'm going to day day can get that same energy. Well, don't pick a day day. I'm telling no, you, I'm don't, pick day -day. don't pick day day. Don't there pick you go. day day. Bye. That's, that ain't the one you're going to be like, okay, here we go. Ain't doing it. Ain't happening. Don't, don't pick a day day. <laughs> Expect a Martin Luther King. Oh, definitely. If they, if they they ain't never been in the pulpit to preach, and you say I want a preacher, and then you mad because they they ain't never can't preach. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Now you do have people that try to make people preachers. And exactly. They, preachers. Uh, they think I should be a preacher. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> no. now, you go, you gonna sit there, you gonna build, you gonna build a bear. We be talking about building a man, like no, no I'm not a preacher. Work. Cause I'd be like, come on, man. Let me lay hands on you. Uh, let me pray for you. <laughs> uh -uh. And they already call me TD Jakes. Oh, uh, oh, I'm be quiet. Nick uh, I, right about now, do you want to be called TD Jakes? No, yeah, that's, you called it me last week. And then you weren't the first one. I mean, the Skeeter or TD Jakes. I'm like, listen. I'm about to shave all this right. Off. Like that's something I would need. I'd be like, mm -mm, don't do not know. Nah, it's bro. been happening for years mm -hmm. before before the power bottom. Oh, I have been a power bottom. What? <laughs> how do you mm -hmm. how do you integrate no, that into the that. lesson? I didn't mean to say that. Don't do that. How do you integrate that into the lesson? See that background? Show in the background, <laughs> man. Oh, there you go. You got it. You know what? Let me see. I'm gonna put you up there. Hold on. Let's see if we could do that. I don't know how I could do that. Um but anyway, let's see if I can fix it. Okay, I can't. Anyway, uh, we do have some people, some winners that did call in, so I got it. I got you guys already, so let me see here. Tell the people who won. I got to find it. It didn't win. No. Maurice and Otis. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Where, where the sound effects Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so late. So late and so cornballish. But it's still But I wouldn't be me. All right, listen. Um, let me give today's footnote real quick. Today's footnote is all about choices. Life has choices. Okay. Some we regret, some we're proud of, some will haunt us forever. But the benefit to this, we are what we choose to be. So it's all about us. We already know that. And you know, this is the show where the slogan is, it's okay to be you. Again, let me go ahead and let you lovely people know, April the 27th, you have to have a ticket. I told y'all how many, it was nine. So now we're at seven tickets left. April 27th, the um, beverage and brunch, live show, a shop talk with Mel from nine to one. Breakfast will be served from nine to 10. We'll start the show exactly at 10. Don't feel any type of way about getting a beverage at the dope house, the dope cider house winery. That's where it's at. Dope is an acronym for dwelling on positive energy. Don't feel bad about it because it's five o'clock somewhere. Get your drink. <laughs> Mimosa, water, get tea like a girl. Hey. Uh, listen, I'll have my wine here with me. While okay, I'm do it up, do it up. And we'll do what we have to do. So lovely people, thank you for tuning in to Shop Talk with Mel. Find you, embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you. Until next week, people, you know what it is. One, two, three. Shut up. Y'all looking at my mouth. One, two, three. Shop no, talk. Because shop your talk. gap between three and shop talk is too long. Okay, That's wait. One, two, three. Shop okay. talk. One, until next week, people, you know what it is. One, two, three. Shop, shop, shop talk. talk. Oh, we got it. God. You're such a nerd. Y'all such a nerd. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I thought I didn't want y'all. <laughs>